hi family welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl here if you are new to this channel welcome my darling welcome i hope that you will subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back fam welcome back and guys in today's video I am actually answering the question which says, can you become a child accountant if you did maths lit? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can become a child accountant if you did maths lit or if you have maths lit or whatever the case may be. So what's going to happen should you be uh, studying maths lit? Basically, what's going to happen is, unfortunately, if you, for example, are in metric or you've passed your metric and you have maths lit, you are unable to register for become accounting because become accounting wants you to have pure maths, right? So what's going to happen is you have two options. Option one would be you register for Ilenduga a diploma. So basically, you're going to register for a diploma because I know that at NMU, for example, they want you to have a 60% in maths lit and in order for you to actually get accepted for Ilenduga for, 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 for diploma, right? Or if your APS were weaker, you can even do Ilenduga higher certificate and from the higher certificate, then you'll go to a diploma. And I've already spoken about the transformation from the diploma to CTA in my previous video. So if you want the detailed explanation on how a person can move from a diploma to a CTA, I have a video there. I will link it down here so that you guys can go there and choose whichever option that you would like. Option number two would be you bridge, right? And what do I mean by that? I am sure if UKZN still offers this, but I know that UKZN used to offer a, a bridging of six months where you bridge your maths lit to pure maths, and then you are able now to apply for become accounting, right? So I am not sure about this one. I tried to do my research. Unfortunately, I couldn't get um, anything um, on online about it. But it those things do happen. I'm pretty sure it wasn't only UKZN that did it, um, where you are able to bridge your maths lit to pure maths, right? If guys you want to do this uh, option, please do 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 some research. Go to accredited places. Don't just take any place because they they are telling you that they are able to bridge your maths lit to pure maths. Please go to accredited places. At least use KZN is a university that's accredited, so it's better to do it there. However, guys, I need to emphasize this. I'm not sure if they still do it. I know that they used to do it where they you could bridge for six months maths lit to pure maths. So, guys, if you are doing pure maths right now and you are getting 11 1, guys, let me give you advice. If you are getting a level 1, what's going to happen? And let's say you pass grade 12 with a level 1. First of all, your points will be down. So, automatically, when you have a level 1, you're not going to get in good become accounting unless, I don't know, but... I know that you're not going to get in. And number two, not only does that affect your pure maths mark, but it also affects your points. So if you know for, for a fact that pure maths, pure maths and you, it's water and oil, then I would advise you to not do it. I would advise you to not do it because what's going to happen, you will get lower marks. I know someone who got, I think... 32 points um, based on not not how you guys calculate it now. I know that now I think you calculate based on the percentages, but before it was based on the level that you got, like a level, if it's level seven, level six and all of that. So this particular individual got 32 points. So they points wise, they qualified for a diploma, right? However, because they got a level one, the university didn't take them. The only thing that the university was busy about, they were like, at least if you had gotten a level two. So this individual got 32 points besides the maths. 
because maths would have been one which would have been 33 but we, we didn't count the maths and they couldn't get in because they did pure maths and they got level one so basically they failed maths and that had an impact in them being accepted in university so if you know that you won't be able to 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 get the like a good mark please don't do pure maths i'm not gonna come here and downsize the importance of pure maths because pure maths is important especially if you want to do become accounting medicine all those kind of things but guys if you are getting a level one it's not going to help you because still you're not going to get the points and I advise you to please please drop it do maths lit and then at least try and pursue at least a 70 percent there so that you are able to get into qualifications that it, that require maths sometimes uh, i'm not gonna lie your journey will be longer than someone who did pure maths but at the end of the day if you got a level one in metric pure maths is not helping you there in fact that is even bad because they're like well pure maths i uh, you're not gonna end and many you and many qualifications want pure maths and they want mathematics um if you're getting a one you still don't have it at least when you do maths lit you have maths you understand so you can get in but if you're doing maths lit try by all means to not get anything below 70 percent you you need to have good marks for maths lit in order for you to get into these um universities because they might reject you if you don't have like a good mark in maths lit you know so you can weigh in your options if you aren't if you are not already doing maths lit you can weigh in your options on whether is mad pure maths beneficial to you or is maths lit beneficial and guys let me give you advice, another advice truth is the most important thing in high school is for you to get good points that's it the most important thing is for you to get good points if you know that a particular subject is bad for you like you are bad in it like you're not like you're not you don't understand it then i say yeah yeah because it's gonna be an issue with it points is out had i had known after that the one thing that was important was points i would have stuck with Mad, pure maths and didn't do accounting because i didn't really need accounting i only needed pure maths and the reason why i would have stuck with pure maths is because i did like pure maths besides trigonometry i did like pure maths and i knew that if had i gone to maths late i would have failed because me and reading and all those things we don't connect but if you connect you don't connect with pure maths you need to know your strength and you need to know your weakness so guys please do what's good for you remember the main goal in high school is for you to get good APS marks so that you are eligible to be to do other qualifications so if you know again guys conclusion if you know you will get level one don't do it but if you know that you can get good marks in pure maths then continue with it because i won't lie pure maths does open doors for you but also does it mean that without pure maths your doors won't be open your journey may take longer but it's possible anyway guys thank you so much for watching i love you so much i'm so sorry for the light it's really not good weather <laughs> anyway i love you